I was at the beach hanging out with my friends when I got the call that you're fighting Jose Aldo June 3rd in Brazil in Rio. And the biggest smile came to my face. If this is not what legends are made of, I don't know what is. I told my manager, why are you talking to me? Why don't you just send the contract? I just couldn't wait. I think I ran like four miles that night when I got home from the beach, just on a whole different high, a whole different level, and just ready to fight one of the greatest of all time athletes. Not even mixed martial artists, athletes of all time in his hometown, where they call this guy a king. So what better way to become a king is to go to another king's village and tell him this is mine. Here we are, 2,223 feet above sea level, a 360 degrees view. Very humbling, and uh, you know, last time when we went to Sweden, we got to go to those old churches, you know, here in Brazil. We got this, and uh, just a blessing, man. It's the nickname, man. Blessed, you know, how the hell I'm gonna have a nickname named Blessed and not come here? This is beautiful. You just gotta, you just gotta take those moments in. I didn't even want to talk. You see sites like that on postcards. Now we have social media, you kind of can see it around all the time, but growing up as a kid, that's always one spot you want to go. It's like, oh my gosh, I need to see the statue. I need to see it. And I got to finally be there and experience and take it in. So beautiful. That was one of the most beautiful things I ever saw in my life. You can just feel the energy up there. It's just, it's just different. It's just different. And uh, I remember one of the one of the main things that stuck out to me was we did an open workout in this mall. And the mall was three levels. It was in an elevator on the third level, it was coming down. It was a see-through elevator. And I could see outside where the stage was, packed. And I remember going out there and the chant in Portuguese, you're gonna die. And I was like, oh my gosh, I'm getting it. Like, I'm getting this chant. Like, this is, and all the other UFC fighters, this is what you live for, you know what I mean? You wanna hear this, because people be talking about it all the time. Like, I'm like, yes, this is it. The energy was just wild, super wild, so crazy. That um, the drive from the open workout to the hotel, I think it was like 15 minutes. That after the workout, I was so drained and so crazy by it, that I fell asleep on the drive back. And like, I was like, not, nah, and I was supposed to train after, and I just wanted to take a nap. Like, I'm so grateful for that open workout, because that thing showed me, like, look, fight night comes around, you better be able to control your energy, boy, or you can go out there tired as it gets in the first round. So uh, it, was, it was such a crazy experience. Mr. Bless Holloway, let's do it, baby. Yes, ma'am. I'm starting when we get around here. <laughs> there it is. Brazilian is just it's something else. The van base is something else. It's very, very crazy. Vem aí, o campeão na categoria peso pena, José Aldo! Jose was like like known for great stare downs. The official way is 145. So I was waiting for this moment. This is one of my favorite moments. I look into Josie's eyes, I saw a killer. I saw a man that I've been watching for 16 years. One of the greatest of all times I'm fighting. He's my superhero, you know, like, he's my idol. It's kind of crazy, you know? But like they always say, you know, you train till your idols become your rivals. How do you win against Jose tomorrow night? And how do you face this crowd? Tune in tomorrow night. You guys go find out. I told you guys the star was born in December. We're about to break tomorrow, baby. Let's go! 
What can we expect from you tomorrow night? Pode ter certeza, essa vitória é nossa, meu irmão, e vai ser devastadora, pode ter certeza. I love that. He said it was going to be devastating. And I was like, been planning for this since whenever I got the call, my friend. Devastating indeed. It is one of the biggest nights of the year in sports here in beautiful Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. Tonight, the king of Rio and one of Brazil's most beloved athletes and champions, Jose Aldo Jr. His mission once again is to exit as UFC featherweight champion. But enter Hawaiian and interim champ Max Bless Holloway. Ten consecutive wins. He now stands 25 minutes or fewer away from realizing the ultimate goal. It's your time, Max. You're your game. You need to dance. Always smile. Always smile on the walkout because I know I get to finally punch someone in the face and not feel bad for 25 minutes. The world famous Octagon has returned and this time with a main event that shapes up as one for the ages. The crowd is crazy, but we was ready. Like, we was just mentally just tuned in. We was focused. Max Holloway is here to win. He's here to be champion and he's proven it. He's saying it. His confidence is through the roof. Refocus, Max. You ready? Get off! Jose Aldo. I remember looking at one of my coaches when I was walking back and forth, and I was like, damn, it's Jose Aldo. <laughs> there was a definite anxiousness here in Brazil when it came to the fans. They understand the challenge in front of him here at Max Holloway. Max Holloway is so good at getting your timing, your rhythm. We know how fast, how explosive he was, so I was like, I just take my time. You're seeing the style differences too. Aldo much more set. Oh! Oh, this is when everybody thought I was hurt. I look hurt. It looks can be deceiving. Some early adversity here for the challenger. He actually landed that knee too. I was fine. That early explosion, Jose Aldo. Seems that Holloway a little hesitant. Now that uppercut, though, I did not see. <laughs> a strong start for the champion, Jose Aldo. Hard to recall the last time Max Holloway lost a round. Shut that lead down, though, OK? Yeah. Got a lazy dab. You bring it straight down after. Right Goes to the right. Off to the right side. You bring up the hook, OK? Coach got me like on that retractable leash, like a dog. So they just keep giving me slack and slack every round. Now Holloway returns fire. Second round would be a little bit more busier. Oh, big right hand from Holloway. They let me come forward a little bit more. Holloway expected the toughest rounds to be early. I slapped him. Wow. I mean, who does that against Jose Aldo? Max Holloway does. I slapped him again. When you think about if someone slaps you, are you going to hit them back? Like, you might just be in shock. You start questioning stuff. You start questioning life, maybe. So I ended up getting there. I got two slaps on, on the man, the myth, the legend, and uh, felt kind of good. <laughs> This round is done. I was like, he's tired. Third round of a possible five here to determine the undisputed UFC featherweight champion. Yeah, when he started walking backwards, I was like, ah, yes. Just gotta pick my shots. Big right hand over the top of the jab of Aldo. Holloway's starting to dictate the pace here. Pressure Aldo, and he's starting to get into a rhythm. And once he does, man, it is hard to break it. Max goes in and out and is making it tough. He's getting lazy with his hands. He made Aldo miss. Standing there. And Holloway is absolutely fine with this type of firefight. Ooh, Holloway cracks him with the right hand. Boom, boom, boom. Max Holloway knocks down Jose Aldo. And I cracked him with the one, two. And then again, and then he fell down. I was like, oh my gosh, is this happening? The champ in recovery mode here. Remember my coach said, take your time, slow down. I was like, no. <laughs> I am not. I remember telling John, come on. This guy not doing nothing, John. He's just covering up. That'll do it. Max Holloway is the undisputed UFC featherweight champion. Hawaii, stand up. This is one of the craziest feelings in the world. Oh, that's my cousin. I love that. I'll just sit the man. And I got a bone to pick with Bruce Buffer. When I fought Pettis, 
and they wrapped the belt around me, he said, and now. And then this one, he said, and now again. So I never really got an and new Bruce. And I always tell him that. So it's OK, though. I'm, a, I'm about to get one here in a little bit. Hey, you see? Wait, wait, wait. How's this? Ka-ching. <laughs> ka but I got a rush. We got two belts. <laughs> Many blessings on the phone. Both for you, not for me. Surprise, surprise, surprise. surprise. <laughs> uh, that was good.